of those who hate you, you can no longer ignore reality. Even if you shun the fight, you'll still wake up every day. about this man richie needs to work this shit out with georgia well he ain't got no fucking choice because if he don't we are fucked like yo mama on prom night for sure man for sure well better get back to it before bobby starts hollering again all right then watch your ass down fucking weird Definitely wasn't a squirrel. I'd say some kind of shit's going down. Cocksucker's only making it worse for himself. Cocksucker's only making it worse for himself.
sign. Gonna root you out. Y'all see what you can find. Let's look this way. We lose him. He headed that way. Go see what you can do. Keep your eyes open. He's here. I know it. I can't believe that. Rest I didn't mean to get mixed up. 
Just lost. He was here a minute he's ago. He's over there. He's out here. Move on. Huh? <whistles> that him? If no one knows where he is. He's still here. See if he's still over there. Can't see you good. You're here somewhere, I know it. Promise. 
Get out there and fucking find him! I want to skin his ass myself. Somewhere, sweetheart. Are you fucking kidding me? He was right here. Seeking ye shall find. Gonna be free from me, boy.
Tanks over here, get him!
been looking for you. this through, boy? You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball was eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.
Oh, watch it. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one of them. Heard what you did to Richie Doucette. Glad you haven't lost your touch. These knuckleheads you're trying to recruit? Get dragged into the... Still in the process of setting up here. Goddamn Phoebe's already had half this town wired to hell. Set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. But you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca. Wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you would help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Got the patience for it. Feel free to swing by. 
Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scum. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point for Dunn back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Having the people down here heard about a little invention called it. Be out directly. Nah. Greco wants to show how tough he is. Me on old me
This is done. You know how to find me. Get doing them coons over in Holla. Hell, bringing that dumb cracker Richie in makes some kind of sense, but Fido's made. Was made. Would come down from on high. Huh? What? I'm looking. Who's here? Too late to run. Who's here? Damn! Cut that! Run, rabbit, run! Sign 
sign of it. Huh. Get back there and check. I ain't ever gonna stop looking. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln? How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He wanted me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln, Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. 
market has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. 